know, you know I'm a DC boy. Born and raised somewhere in DC, Southeast DC. You know what's happening. But as you can see, the seat is already off the bike. Wonder what's going on with that. Hold on tight. Called custom dynamic. Let me turn the camera. Let me turn the camera down. Let me turn the camera down. So you can see exactly what I have here. Custom dynamic, right? I called them, right? Let me turn the camera around. days went by, blah, 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 this. <laughs> he said, if you don't sit your 230 ass down and get up out my face. Nah, he didn't say that. He said, he said, nah, he said, sir, at this, at this point right now, you know, we can't sponsor you nothing. But what we can do, I'll give you 10% off. And um, that's the best I can do. He said, now, once you do it and you send the video in, let us see it, then put you down the, down the road, send it to you, and then come back for you to, you know, have put on, get ready to put on, you know, the best I can do is 10%, right? Man, look, man, I said, you 10? I said, you 10? So I was going to buy him in and home. He said, you 10? I said, well, look here. Since you're going to give me 10% of the stroll lights, I noticed um, that you have this bar. This bar right here. You had this bar here, this light bar. I said, well, I might work with that because I like the way that looks. You know, a little better than ten percent. You know, you said that's what you said. So this is the product here. Stuff on them, 
you know. change it all out and I'm getting ready to put a new lighting bar on some custom dynamics you know, see this boy man see them personalized tags alright Theodore hope we get a chance to get together brother Okay, guys, before we get started, one of these here, which one is these? These are, then you know, right here, this is for 2014 to 23 Tri Glide, okay? And a 15 to 23 Free Wheeler. Okay, let's see. I think these are for this one here, which is marked uh, TRK. Uh, these are going to be for the brake lights. These are going to be for the brake lights. And what we have here is some instructions. Let's see what the instructions say. And as you can see, the instructions got to, you know, let you see exactly what it looked like. Tells you what bikes it's for. This is for a 14 to 22, like I said. Tri glide or free wheeler. Okay. Now uh, it also tells you to remove the negative on the battery, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to remove the fuse. Okay. It's telling you where it's going. And if you can see that diagram right there, should be that. I know it's dirty. Ah, shut your mouth up. Shut it up. I know it's dirty. I'm going to wipe it down before I get it. But you, it's saying it's that one. If you're looking here, that's what it's saying. Bam, bam. So I'm guessing that's the brake lights. But what we're going to do is remove this side panel right here to get to the fuse. Because I don't feel like I got all kind of stuff wired up. My lights, all that. I don't even feel like taking all that stuff. I mean, I got so much stuff down there tied in. I'm just going to go ahead and just pull the battery. But I guess what I have to do in order to pull the fuse is turn the bike on as such. Yeah, you see that. You see that digital. You see the digital. Pull the fuse. Cut it back off. But remember to put the fuse back before or you're going to set off the alarm. So let me, because I ain't got but one hand. So let me uh, remove the side panel and then we're going to get to the battery. So this is a how to bypass the alarm system from your key fob that's on your bike. All right. Okay. As you can see. And earlier, the early part of the video, my microphone went out on me, so I had to recharge it up, so that's what took me a minute. And so as you can see, we have a 50 amp battery right there, 50 amp. So what we're going to do, turn the bike on, let it go through a sequence. All right. Then went through a sequence. Everything. I'm gonna pull the. I'm gonna pull this 50 amp. Pull it out. Turn the bike back off. We have no alarm. We have nothing. But remember to put it back in when we finish. So I'm gonna put this in my. Oh, I'm gonna set it right here. I'm gonna set it right here. So now, let me go get the strobe lights. Right like back. I said before, we have the diagram here to tell us where it should go, what it should look like. You see that there? You see that there? Okay. It also gives you 10 different functions and settings once you get it. You see here, 
You see the diagram here? Then you know it's on, how you turn the dial. But anyway, I think I'm going to go with diagram number six. The Blaster X. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay? But you have ten to choose from. So if you order these, choose whatever one you work. I could sit here and go through all of them. But for the most part, I'm looking at everybody liking setting, setting six. So we're going to rock with six. We're going to rock with six. Okay? So, like I said, I only have one hand, but I'm going to pull this loose here, connect it, then we're going to test it, see if it works, and if so, then we're going to work on the tour pack. All right, so hold tight while I separate this. Okay, guys, I just plugged them in. As you can see, I got them plugged in. Now, let's take a look at the module itself. Okay. See what we have here? You see all your dials. Let me see if I can zoom in a little better. You see all your dials. From zero through nine. The two buttons here is your on and off buttons here. This is how you set your dial. I'm going to get me a little screwdriver to get in here, turn that to the setting that I want. And then we're going to go from there and then we're going to test the lights out. So remember, turn all your switches on, which is your switches underneath here. Turn your switches on, set your dial, put your cap back, and then we're going to see what we got. All right, then it's going to be tightening it up when I come back right here because we're going to take that off for the tool pack once i disassemble it from back there all right let's rock and roll baby. okay i got it in getting ready to put this 50 amp fuse back in and see what them lights look like got the fuse back in let's see what we got we got everything that's the radio. We're going to turn that down. Everything is back up and running. Everything. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got any flash. Let's see if we got any flash. Let me hit the brake light. Ow! Oh, look at that. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Had it facing the wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't. I had it right. I had it right. Okay. Let's try it again. Try it again. Y'all see that? There you go. There you go. Hello. Hello. You ain't got but one hand. But you see the custom dynamics. These lights are going to be a game changer when people ride up behind me. Thank you, custom dynamics. Now, I'm not going to have time to put the tool pack on today. Because my daughter want to go to the movie. So maybe I might get a chance later on the night to throw them in. But right now, these are done. Thank you. Hey, guys, I wanted to give you a better look at the back of the, at the, back of the bike. So I have a special guest here that's going to squeeze the brakes for me while I go back here. And like I said, I ain't going to show you the video of me wiring it up or nothing. Like, you know, tying it up, getting it all back neat. But I want you to look at the back of the bike once she hit the brakes. All right, hit the brakes. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 at, how, look how many times it flashed before it go to solid. You let it go. Squeeze one more time. Man, ain't that nice? Now, once I put that tool pack on, I'm going to have everything together. So, like I said, thank you again, Custom Dynamic, for sending me the strobe lights for the tool pack. I will install them tomorrow. Today I'm going to the movies or I might do it tonight. Who knows? But this video is coming out in the next 20 minutes. So thank y'all. Thanks Custom Dynamics. I really appreciate what you did for me. And peace. I can't say enough for Custom Dynamics. Thank you again. Thank you for the module. Thank you. And when I get these lights on, I know it's going to be so much better for me. But I appreciate y'all. Once again, I know I said I was finished. Once again, thank you again, Custom Dynamics. I had to leave you with one thing. I realized that I didn't have a clear vision of the backlight. So let me hit the brakes right fast.